Hello grade sevens. Today we will be speaking about separation of mixtures. This is a natural science lesson in unit two for the grade sevens. First, we need to answer the question, what is a mixture? A mixture is any two or more substances mixed together. It can be in any state. It can therefore be solids, liquids or gases. It can also be a combination of states. The substances do not react with each other chemically. And the substances can be mixed in any ratio. What we will be looking at now is the methods of physical separation. The first one we find is hand sorting. Hand sorting can be used when the different particles are big enough to be handled easily. The particles can be picked up one by one and separated from each other. Let's just look at a few examples. Maybe a bunch of peppers or raisins and peanuts. Maybe there's different roses that you would like to separate from each other or something we all like, jelly beans. The next method of physical separation is sifting. Sifting can be used when the particles of one substance are much bigger than the particles of the other substance. A sieve with holes of a specific size is used. The mixture is put into the sieve and it is then vibrated or shaken to allow the particles that are small enough to fall through. Here we see a picture of an example of a strainer with sand and gravel at the top. The gravel stays behind and the sand falls through. Our next method of physical separation is that of filtration. Filtration as a separation method is used when one substance is a liquid and the other substance is a solid. The liquid mixture is poured into the filter to allow the liquid to run through while the solid stays behind because the holes in the filter are too small for it to pass through. Can you think of an example? Yes, something we all like, coffee. Coffee is a good example of filtration. The next method of physical separation is that of a magnet. To be able to use this method of separation, it is necessary that one substance is magnetic and the other is not. A magnet is used to attract the magnetic substance and remove it from the other substance. For example, when you want to take um, fillings from sand. The next method we will look at is that of distillation. Distillation is used to separate two liquids with different boiling points. There are two processes that are part of the distillation process, namely boiling and condensation. Distillation differs from evaporation in that the evaporated liquid is collected. In the first unit, we learned that every liquid has its own unique melting and boiling points. We can use the different boiling points of liquid to separate a mixture of liquids. The same is true for gases. The substances with the lowest boiling point or with the weakest forces between the particles will evaporate first and can therefore be separated from the mixture first. The process is called fractional distillation. The last method of physical separation we will look at is that of evaporation. Evaporation is used to separate a substance that is dissolved in another. The liquid will evaporate because the bonds between the particles of the liquid are weaker than the bonds between the particles of the solid. After evaporation, the solid will remain behind as crystals. Here we see an example of salt and water and evaporation. And this then brings us at the end of our lesson in natural science for today.